Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you all of my Winx stuff. Um, it's not a lot because I started collecting like six months ago and I only have a few things from when I was a kid. So yeah. Um, if you hear me clear my throat, just ignore that. I have Tourette's, so I'm so awkward. Anyways, the first thing, the first Winx thing I believe I ever got in <coughs> was of, um, hold on a second, I said check, okay, was... I'm sorry, my phone's being balanced on a cardboard box, so you can't really see it. Hold on, let me just... Is the Welcome to Alfia book. I think I bought this at like a book fair. No spoilers. I think I got this at like a book fair or like... Like Target, I don't know. But... Yeah. This isn't the first thing at Winx I ever got. Um, there's Rotten Tomatoes on my deck. <laughs> And uh, I remember my mom reading this to me. I used to be obsessed with Bloom and Stella. Now Bloom is like, no, but st I still like Stella. And I remember I did like Tecna, I believe. I don't really remember. I just know that I really liked Bloom and Stella. Okay. And hold on, so let me open up to the pictures in the book. Cause like, like most junior novelizations, there's pictures. So here's Bloom's, it says, Bloom thinks she's a perfectly normal girl until the day she discovers she's really a fairy. Hold on, let's turn the other page. Stella is the fairy of the shining sun. She's the first fairy Bloom meets. She invites Bloom to Althea College, a school for fairies in training. Then Flora. Flora is the fairy of nature and can, can, ma can magically control all kinds of plants. She's warm-hearted and generous. Glad Nickelodeon didn't change her personality. Okay. Tecna is the fairy of technology. She's extremely irrational and creates unique gadgets to help in all kinds of situations. And then Musa. Musa is the fairy of music. She is always listening to the latest beats and has the power of song on her side. Stan Musa. Okay. And then here's Farragonda, who I hate for no reason. And Mistress Farragonda runs off via college for fairy. She's tough but fair and is very protective of the fairies who attend her school. And then here are the tricks. I remember, I remember I knew Stormy and Icy's names, but I didn't know Darcy's name as a kid. And they creeped me out. Darcy creeped me out as a kid. <laughs> okay. The tricks are a trio of evil witches who are determined to destroy Bloom and her fairy friends. So, yeah. And then the last page of the pictures says, of course, they didn't include Tecna in the picture. Together, Bloom and her friends make up the Winx Club with their awesome fairy powers there's nothing they can't do. True. Okay. So that's the first wink sign I ever got as a kid. Next. <clears throat> Next is Flora Concert figure. I believe it's by Jack Pacific. Um, I'm making sure my family's all listening to me. <laughs> okay. So um, I did have Bloom Believix and Stella Concert figures, but I have no idea where they are. And so here's Flora concert. They're honestly really underrated. Like she's really pretty. Um, I remember, I don't remember getting her. I remember getting Blue and Stella figures, but I do not remember getting Flora. So it was awesome to find her. Yeah, There's not much to say about her. She's just really pretty. Okay, next. Okay. I think someone's knocking on the window. No, okay. I'm just making sure no one's watching me. Okay. Next is, okay, don't get scared. This is a trigger warning. There's gonna be a headless doll. Okay, so um, when I was a kid, I really wanted, <laughs> I'm just not gonna show the rest of that. I really wanted Winx dolls when I was a kid and my friend got me Bloom Believix for my birthday. And the reason she's naked and headless, um, I have her skirt somewhere, but the rest of her I cannot find. Um, but the reason she's headless is because when I was little, I always ex I liked experimenting with dolls, so I ripped Bloom's head off. So, rest in peace, Bloom. Okay. Okay, so this doll next is a disaster and a half. Um, <laughs> it's city style Stella, and once again, I was extremely into like experimenting with dolls. So, um, yeah, her face is ruined, her hair is cut and a mess, her dress is 
coming apart and her shoes are all messed up so yeah but i got her for christmas alongside the next doll which is well on, everyday bloom by jack specific um i found her shoe somewhere but i can't find it now um this is just a shirt i made and here's her like official skirt um she's a mess <laughs> i would sell her but like and no one's gonna want this. <laughs> okay. Next is when I actually started collecting Winx stuff six months ago. Or seven, six or seven months ago. Well, today's October 1st, so I guess it's like six and a half months ago. Anyways. <laughs> the first thing I got was Stella Enchantix. And obviously, she's very customized because she only came with her shirt and skirt. So I made her wings. I actually made her multiple wings, but I keep remaking them. And I made her shoes and taped them to her feet. My favorite part is the collar I made her. She has a really pretty face, but her hair is atrocious. I'm not super into this doll. Oh, by the way, is her paint for her gloves chipping a lot. I'm not super into this doll. I mean, if she was complete, probably, but she's not. So really not into this doll, but she's my first one. So she's still really special. She's by Jack Specific, by the way, if anyone was wondering. Um, what was next? Okay, next is my favorite doll in my collection. This is not my favorite Winx doll ever, but it's my favorite that I own. It is Techna Concert by Jack Specific. It's my only Techna doll. I love Techna. Um, I love concert, the concert dolls. And she was one of the only good ones in the Jack Specific thing. Her and Bloom were like the amazing ones in the Jack Specific concert line, but yeah, she's just really pretty. Her lipstick's a little smudged. She's also really special because she was a gift. Um, and her hair looks a lot lighter on camera than it is in real life. But yeah, here she is. Just gonna show how amazing she is. Yeah, I just wish she was more articulated so I can like pose her and stuff when I display her. Yeah, okay. There's a random dog collar over here. Let me just move that. I don't even know what this is. Okay. Next is, I think, yeah. Um, it is Believe Explora by Jack Specific. Now, I spent 60 bucks on her and she was worth it because here's a little story about this doll. So when I started like researching Winx dolls, before I started collecting, <clears throat> I saw Believe Explorer and I really, really wanted her. I'm not a huge fan of her look in the show, but like the doll by Jax is phenomenal. Uh, spoilers. <laughs> um, she's just really, really pretty. And the story about her is I bought another Believe Explorer before this one. She didn't have any of her wings or shoes or anything, but I think her hair was still like done. Um, and I bought her and like after five days it still like didn't get shipped and then the seller canceled the order and I was so upset and I sold a bunch of stuff um, for a lot of money and immediately after I got the money I bought her and I do not regret it. The only bad thing is she's missing a lot of glitter on her wings but that's okay. Um, she's very beautiful. Yeah, I love this doll. And the, the camera does not do justice how pretty she is in real life. If you had a Believe Explora, or if you have a Believe Explora, you know. Okay, the next one, what's the next one? Okay. The next one is Magic Winks Musa by Mattel. Now, I, Mattel is my favorite Winks brand, and this is my first, I keep picking up the, my phone. <laughs> this is my first Mattel doll along with the other one that I got at the same time that I'm going to show you in a bit. But she's really pretty. I love her. Um, I remember, like, this in the description, the seller was, like, saying that she was in horrible condition, but she's really not. The dress is on the best condition, but, like, everything else is, like, in great condition. She also came with her second outfit, like, her everyday outfit, which is awesome. Um, so here she is. She still lights up a tiny bit, but you with her wings on, you can't see it. Um... Yeah, she's really, really pretty. The bad thing is, this is me. This, the, she did not come like this when I got her, but her 
right or left knee won't bend anymore. So that's fun. And then the next doll I bought with her and she was wearing these as everyday outfit, but I took it off of her. It's, I'm not 100% sure which doll this is, but I'm pretty sure it's Dance Night Bloom. Um, based on like all the evidence I have. Um, and someone's selling her outfit for, with shipping that's $20 and I don't know if I want to buy that, but I might. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the blue Mattel dolls. I mean, some of them are good, but this one, like her makeup is disastrous. Like this is not bloom. I mean, it is bloom, but like, it doesn't feel like bloom. And I love her hair though. Her hair is amazing. Um, next is this. Yes. Next is Dance Night Stella. Or is it Dance Night? Yeah, Dance Night Stella. She was also a gift. Um, she doesn't really look good on camera, but in real life she looks really, really good. Um, and her outfits, she was pretty cheap too which is cool. Her outfit is in great condition. Her, her hair, her hair actually came really bad, but I fixed it. Um, I love her shoes. They have like the slightest shine to them. And she does have like some slight like discoloring on her, but that's okay. Um, she's really beautiful. I love her. This is my favorite Stella doll of, of what I own. Okay. And then the next is no this is the next one yeah okay the next one is i love my pet aisha this is the rarest doll i own she's a pretty rare doll i'm not trying to brag but she's a pretty rare doll um and i used to be like an, I, I used to love her face but like i don't really like it anymore <laughs> but yeah she still is super cute um here she is. She's my Witty Toy. She's my first Witty Toy doll. My first Aisha doll. Um, yeah, she's really. She was really cheap too. Um, yeah, she was probably the no. Stella. She's like my the second cheapest Winx doll I got. I think Stella Enchantix was the cheapest one. Um, but yeah, she. She's really beautiful kind of she's more cute than beautiful that's like the witty dolls are mostly just cute <laughs> um yeah the witty hands freak me out i did not like that when she came okay next is the winx comic i i did not know it was gonna come new in packaging so but i really wanted to read it so i just took i was i, I was really careful but I could staple it back on if I want to. And it's the four, the awful four kids version. So it's slightly altered, but not too bad. And also I can read the direct translation online if I wanted to, but here it is. Here's the cover, here's Sky, Bloom, Brandon, Timmy, and Riven. Exclusive inter interview with Misa. Also in the comic, it says that Tecna has a brother. I don't know, like in, it's a comic magazine and one of the magazine parts, it, she was writing a letter to her brother. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. I mostly just wanted something with Timmy on it, <laughs> obviously. Okay. Next is Bloom Sensational. I really like this doll. I've been like, I've been like really liking her lately. She's not complete. She's missing her shoes, but she's, I got her for my birthday. She's really, she's really adorable. And I love how the Mattel made their mouths like open because they're like singing. I love the lashes. Yes, girl, get those lashes done. <laughs> um, I'm gonna cringe when I'm watching this after. Um, yeah, she's really, really pretty. Um, she's my first bloom. Actually, that's a lie. She's not my first bloom doll by Mattel. She's my first like complete, not complete, mostly complete bloom doll by Mattel. I wish I had her stand, but it's our four kids voice, so fork it's awful underrated i mean unpopular opinion okay last but not least um i got this doll a few days ago so i didn't post about it because i've been busy with school and other stuff so here is here she is in all her glory bloom lovix and oh my god she is stunning my favorite part about her is definitely the wings even though the wings are a little wonky but it's okay 
um how many times did i say it's okay <laughs> anyways she's such a beautiful face this doll came out nine years ago and it still has like the glitter on it and it's actually really really soft like the fur is really soft and i actually made an edit on instagram for this doll like a scene edit um follow me on instagram is wonderful winks um yeah i really really love this doll and her hair is perfect oh i forgot to get her accessories her accessories are still in my in my room but she came with her accessories so yeah here's my winks collection thank you for watching